Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I'm gonna be styling these chunky loafers. I opted to get very plain ones just because it would be so much simpler to match with a lot of things and not worry about the hardware matching with other hardware in my accessories or my clothes. So let's get into it. Okay, so my first fit, I'm gonna be styling it with a black uh, dress, little black dress with uh, puff sleeves because I feel like the loafers are kind of like a little bit of a structured shoe that I wanted to balance it out with something like a puff sleeve, a little bit more feminine, a little like fun and flirty. And then pair it with these cute socks. These are ankle socks. No, above the ankle socks. So something like this or like one of those frilly ones that are gonna play up the dress. So yeah, let me show you. Okay, so this is not my usual aesthetic, but I do like it. And I think it's really important to have a little black dress that fits any occasion. Because look at this. This is a, it could be businessy, it could be party, it could be anything, and then you dress it with loafers. It's getting French. It's giving uh, one of the French houses brands, like Dior, Dior maybe? But yeah, I really like this kind of look. It's very playful, youthful. I think maybe if anything, I would change the socks to maybe frilly, frilly socks a little bit to give a more youthful vibe. But honestly, I do like it. It's cool, it's different from my usual aesthetic but I do like it and I'm glad I'm expanding to different things. So with these loafers, I will be, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Good. And the whole headband is giving, uh, I love the headband look. It just pulls together the look. Neat. Okay, so for my second look, I think you've probably seen something like it similar, if not just slightly different, just because I love this aesthetic so much. But I am going to be pairing it with my long sleeve buttoned up crop top shirt. And then I'm going to be pairing it with this black crop blazer. Oh my god, I love this. I think this is my first time maybe styling this. And then I will be styling it with these black skirt, but it looks like a skirt in the front, which is the most important. And I love skirts just because they're built in shorts, but yes. So you're going to see the vision. And then also for the socks, I'm going to be doing, I think these are a knee or thigh high socks, either knee or thigh high socks. They're really great. These are from Daiso, which I absolutely love so much. And then, of course, the same loafers. Okay, you guys know that this is one of my favorite combinations in when I make outfits. So I'm just going to show you, but I really, really like it. Look at it. It looks so freaking good. I think the socks make it just pull it up way together. And I'm very inspired by the luxury French houses, design houses. It's like a little bit of uh, Chanel, a little bit of Dior and Miu Miu. And I just feel like this this is such a cute aesthetic. Ah, love it so much. Ah. Yeah, the socks just make it so cool. I think that's what makes it chic with the loafers is the socks. Because I think like if it was without the socks, it would look kind of weird. Hold on, let's see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like. Hold on. It's not bad, but I think with the socks, it makes it so much aesthetically better. Aesthetically pleasing at the very least too. I think, yeah, and if you didn't shave your legs, it's perfect, you can wear these socks too, you know? But yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. Cause this feels like I, almost completed the fit. I don't know, I'm not feeling the loafers by itself in this fit. But yeah, I think the socks look so much better. So let's just put this back. Yeah. Very cute. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the socks definitely make it look so much better. So much better. Okay, my next fit, I'm gonna be putting the base of an off-shoulder buttoned-up shirt. Look how cute it is. And then I'm gonna slap this, not slap. I'm gonna place this over the shoulders. I'm not wearing it, I'm just gonna place it over the shoulders. And then I will tuck the uh, shirt into this skirt right here. And then I'm gonna wear these nice little printed socks with the same loafers. Okay, so I kind of like this look. The loafers do give it a different vibe because normally I do wear this type of stuff off shoulder, the like skirt. The loafers, they're definitely making me a lot younger than I am, but I do like it. It's just a little different, which I'm not really used to, but it's not too bad. And I'm not gaslighting myself to liking the fit. I did like the previous one with the thigh high socks. I think it's because this, I was thinking of putting this. This might have, this actually, because this is off shoulder, my original plan was to wear it like as a regular button up, uh, which can work too anyways, but let's just try it with this sweater. Okay, now, now you see the vision. Now it works a little bit better because I cover my shoulders. Because usually with button up shirts, they're giving old money looks, right? So you don't really, you know, wear off the shoulder. But this top is actually an off shoulder top. But if you have a regular Oxford button up shirt, then yeah, then this works too. So that's why I'll cover my shoulders so you get, you get the vibe of where I was going at. Because now, now it looks a lot better. Actually, I should have just looked at this. Okay, so my next fit is gonna be this oversized sweater. It says French kissing in the USA. I love, it's not controversial, but it's really cute. You know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. Like a little quote there, here and there. I don't normally wear um, quotes, I guess, on my sweatshirt, but this one was really cool. Loved it, this was like, Years ago, so oversized sweater. Then I'm gonna style it with this pleated black mini skirt or skirt. I don't know if it's mini, mini on me. And then these knee high white socks. Okay, so this is not my usual fit. I'm still open to trying different looks and seeing what may or may not work for me. I like the top part. The loafers are kind of throwing me off a little bit. It's not, I don't not like it, but it's not my favorite. You know what I mean? Here, let me show you. So this is cute, right? But the socks and the loafers, I feel like I'm in my early, early, early 20s. Just hit my 20s type of thing. You know what I mean? I know. Does it make me look young? Cause that's cool too. I feel like this is not my aesthetic too much, but I'm not mad at it, you know? I feel like I just need to practice a little bit more and trying it out. I'm not, I'm not not liking it, you know? I just have to get used to it. These socks are cute and <laughs> with the loafers. I feel like it works for someone else, just not for me, but I like the look, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm like somewhere, but it's not bad. Okay, so my last fit, I think anyone could probably wear this. I feel like this is very business casual, very easy. So let me show you. I am styling with a black Ralph Lauren sh polo shirt. And then I'm styling with these high-waisted skinny pants. And then with the loafers. I feel like this one's pretty easy. Okay, so this fit is pretty easily to replicate. Let me just show you. This is casual. I love that I put polo, but you can definitely style it with a shirt. Um, maybe like a fitted shirt. The pants, 
wish they weren't too see-through, but nonetheless, they're not too bad. They're very business casual. I think the loafers just give it a little bit more of a nice touch to the overall outfit. Because anyone could wear skinny pants and a polo, but I think with the loafer, it gives it a little bit more classy feel. Instead of like sneakers, sneakers are too casual, but this is still casual, just a little bit more elevated, you know? So if you guys enjoyed that video, please give it a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below which one's your favorite and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.